Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Crizzy here. And yes, today's my 25th birthday. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys already know that by now. And so, I just got back from work and bowling with my friends for my, for my birthday today. And, and as always, every year, I'm, I'm, here, I'm here today for today's video by showing you guys all the things I got for my birthday this year. Yep. So... And as for the movies that I got for my blue, as for the movies that I got for my birthday today, I'll I'll talk more more about them when I do an update video for later today, as long as I as long as I can see what I can do because it's gonna be a busy day for me celebrating my birthday and we're going out for birthday dinner soon. So, but yeah, I'll I'll make sure I I'll, I'll make sure I get everything done as soon as possible. So, but for now, I'm just gonna show you guys what all the things that I got for my birthday this year for my parents. And also, one one of my friends, the Cena Boys, Corey, also gave me gave me one of them as well, which I'll show you that in a, in a minute. So, but before I start, before I start showing, which before I before I start talking about the things that I got right here, I'm gonna be showing you guys two shirts that I got for my birthday. So right down here, these are actually two shirts that I got for my birthday, which my parents actually gave gave these gave these shirts to me as well. My mom was actually shopping on the movie studio websites like A24 and Columbia Pictures, like the Sony store. And, and she bought me an A24 shirt and Columbia Pictures. The, the Columbia Pictures shirt is, is, actually the old, is actually one of the older logos. Like it's not, it's not the current one used today. It's actually the, the old Columbia Pictures logo from, from the 80s and 70s, if, if I'm proven wrong. But I actually like how this is a very cool nostalgic shirt for, for like a logo shirt. Columbia Pictures, and I got another A24 shirt from the A24 movie shop. Yeah, I also have an A24 shirt, but 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 if, but of course it's it's black, and of course and but it's black, and the A24 logo is in, in white, which you can see you can see the tags the tag is white, and you can all you can also see that the A24 logo is is red on navy blue shirt. Yep, I like them. And as for another shirt, I also got this long sleeve shirt of Lionsgate from the Lionsgate movie shop as well, which is pretty cool, Lionsgate. And also you can see here, I also got this bluey pillow pad that my aunt Angie gave me gave me for, for as as an early birthday present before today. I actually I actually really love this bluey pillow pad, like how like how it's bluey herself, bluey. And and of course it opens up like a pillow pet. Like yep, yeah, opens up like that, like a like a pillow pet. Very cute, bluey. Yep, because because you guys know I love me some bluey. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's the bluey pillow pet. And. All right, so now I'm gonna be showing you guys like the one one Wii video game that I actually got from from one of my friends, Corey. Yeah, Corey is one of my friends in the Cena Boys group. So I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure if I already have this already. But even if it's an extra copy, I don't mind extra copies. But this one's a Wii video game. This one's a Wii game called Namco Museum Remix. Which I know I'm not that much. I'm not. I'm not really that much of a video game player anymore. But my mom told me that that at some point we may hook up the, Wii, the Nintendo Wii again. I might go back into playing Wii games or something like that. But this was a cool game that I got. Yeah. Rated E for everyone. So that's Namco Museum Remix. Yeah. And so I'm and I and I'm also going to be showing you guys in short detail. I'm going to be showing you guys the the three movies that I got for my birthday. I got Furiosa on 4K, which was an awesome movie. I got The Bike Riders, which is on Blu-ray, which is an honorable mention of my top 10 favorite movies of the year. And I got John Krasinski's If, Imaginary Friend. My friend Justin Nim loved this movie so much, so like you know, and and of course his favorite part is is when is when whenever whenever the characters trip over and shout Keith, yeah, when they think they 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 really think it's Keith the Invisible If, <laughs> that part never gets old. Yeah, but I'll talk more more about these movies whenever I do the update videos, so stay tuned for that as soon as as soon as possible whenever I get done. And 
I also got a CD album as well, but this is also, but this is the same one that I got years ago, a long time ago. It's the Ants soundtrack, like the movie based on the the, fir the very first DreamWorks animated film, Ants. At first, I was thinking it was the the complete original score album, but but it's actually the same old the same old soundtrack from before. Because you know what I mean by that, guys, is, is that is that mo animated movie soundtracks have been, have been getting like a complete score recently, like like A Bug's Life and um, Kung Fu Panda and Madagascar. Over the hedge, and 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 then I just saw on eBay that there was this cover art that says "Ants: The Complete Motion Picture Score." Where at first I was thinking it, it, it features all the complete, all, all the unused music scores that weren't featured on the original soundtrack. Like for example, like the there's music playing during the praying mantis scene with Bala and the praying mantis during one scene in the movie, and, and music does play in, in during that scene, but that music is not featured on the soundtrack, and that kind of had me thinking. If if Ants gets a complete motion picture soundtrack featuring all the unreleased the unreleased music score cues, like if, if if Ants gets a soundtrack just like that, why not All Dogs Go to Heaven? Because all, the movie All Dogs Go to Heaven did have some music playing in some scenes, but but they weren't featured. But some of them weren't even featured on the original soundtrack. The first Ice Age is also another example of that too. And yeah, because I've always I've always wanted to see what what All Dogs Go to Heaven would look like with it with an with a complete motion picture score with all the unreleased music scores that weren't featured on the original on the on the original soundtrack, especially the final scenes and extended music. So I wouldn't really have to deal with like you know the the dialogue of Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds and Judah Barcy, but not 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 to disrespect her, but you know because I because I can I'm because I completely have nothing against Judah Barcy, believe or not, but like, excuse me, believe me. Because it, it's still very sad about what happened to Judith, so, yeah. I, I just want to let you all know. But yeah, I can't, I, I still wish All Dogs Go to Heaven had a complete motion picture soundtrack like like all these like animated films have been getting some recently. But, but then when, but then when I got it, when I got a second copy of the Ants motion picture soundtrack, it's just the same old, same old soundtrack from before, but that's okay, I don't mind. At least I have an extra copy, and like I, and like I said, I, I don't, like, and like I said, I don't, I don't mind extra copies, and and I still think CDs are pretty nostalgic too. Since yeah, for for like an an ants movie for from DreamWorks Animation, same back cover featuring the, the score cues, same old thing. But I don't mind. Yeah. And so, and the last one I got for my birthday is this is actually a this is actually something pretty cool. It, it's like a logo statue of 20th Century Fox. Yeah, it's actually the the old 20th Century Fox logo in like in like some sort of like mini statue style, which I think is pretty cool. And it, and it kind of almost reminds me of that one scene in Deadpool and Wolverine when when Deadpool and Wolverine themselves were were fighting each other for the first time, and then and then Deadpool gets knocked out into a destroyed 20th Century Fox statue, like which I thought was pretty funny. Yeah, very cool. And oh yeah, and 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 since my mom just walked in quietly. I'm also going to be showing you guys something really cool that I had that I had at my bowling party. These are and and, and since some of you guys may know that I, that some of you, some of you guys may know that 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 my mom thinks I I like Jaws and yeah and yeah Jaws is, is definitely a masterpiece Steven Spielberg film. Like as as when we we were partying at at the bowling alley, we actually had to have these like soda cups. We actually we had these we had these paper cups so to drink sodas out of it, like to drink have a drink as well as napkins and and paper plates here of, of the movie Jaws. Yeah, which I think is very, very cool. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's pretty much all. That's pretty much all there is to show of the, the of the things I got for my twenty fifth birthday this year. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and make sure to like this video as well. With that being said, until next time, this is Mister Eight Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and feel free to wish me a happy birthday. And that's about it.